Are you going to wake up Anton? Don't know why this peacock is so interested in this goose laying her egg. I think I'm going to close the door so she can have some privacy. My poem for the day is A house is made of walls and beams. Do you approve of my cutting? Did I do a good job? Just out on a cloudy morning date. We have had some insane weather here. Luckily, the rabbits all fared well. We had some crazy wind yesterday. You might see one of my chicken coops there lying on the ground. And another chicken coop lying on the ground. These maniacs had to come sleep in the house. Uh, as far as I can tell so far, I have not lost any birds. This, uh, the dollhouse coop stayed put. And that is only because we had secured it after it floated away during the flood. So that was bananas. This coop was blown over early in the storm. Luckily, no one was in it because the door had already blown shut. Unfortunately, the treehouse coop had a hen that was setting on a dozen eggs. The hen, see, this coop, ooh, this coop is just sitting on this bottom to make it so you can clean it. She ran out and was fine and went and sought shelter. We do have some damage here. The eggs broke. And, well, maybe not all of them. I don't know. I need to get in there and see what I can salvage. The, egg, the eggs were not very old. I don't have very high hope for this nest of eggs, but I actually got hit with this coop, which is, sounds kind of funny. It's pretty painful. I'm a little scratched up. Ended up with a bit of a twisted ankle. I, a home is made of love and dreams. Jumped out of the way. Got a little, little bumped and bruised there. Nothing critical. Yes, so everybody's all curious about this new. So today we're going to do spring cleaning. Put all these cubes back in order. The birds that were not finding shelter got caught and put inside the barn. And of course the doling slept in the barn. None of the other livestock decided to go into the barn, which that was optional. Birds out in the new coops actually those coops are pretty heavy duty. Are you just taking a nap? Right in the middle of the morning? My goodness. I know you probably didn't get much rest last night, did you? It was so blustery. You can see what happened with this. And I don't know who wrote that. But for those of you who are feeling out of place in this world right now, I would encourage you to make wherever you are your home. They felt they actually had more security than the rest of my birds. Another storm on the farm. Everybody's looking fresh and wide-eyed this morning. Have some produce here that needs to be cut up and sorted out for the animals. How cute. A perfect rainbow from my little sun catcher. How sweet. Hey Dorothy, I hadn't seen you today. Are you all right? These fat little babies are basking. They have had tons of food. We've gone crazy with some uh, strawberry grape zucchini salad. And all of our veggie eaters are feeling very fat and content right now. Good morning. It's never boring when you live. Good morning, Atlas. I know you're ready for your breakfast, aren't you? We need. To, we have a lot of work to do out here, and I also have to take a trip out of town to the feed store today as well. 
Just wanted to take a few minutes to give a shout out to Frankie Cato, one of my oldest friends in the YouTube world, and Rob from Ibn's Arachnids. I hope you have a good recovery from your surgery. Get well soon. Even Cairo says so too. My creature feature of today's video is my pair of Crotalus lepidus clobberi. And these are the eggs due to hatch this weekend. Not a whole lot of activity. Really, really blowing outside. It's a wall of dust and it's just horrible and nasty. So the dogs have decided they need to just stay in bed. And I, I think I agree. This little sweet pea's growing up. She's starting to get some of her plumage and lose her baby fuzz. She's doing really great. She's been going outside. Oh, are you going to get my ring? She's been going outside in her little pen so she can go start getting some sun and meeting the other birds. This incubator now has, um, it looks like two, four, seven goose eggs. And then a few random eggs that are the mungs or the frizzles. And then I have some duck eggs that still have a week. What are you doing? Come here, Dandy. What's he doing, Cairo? What's going on, buddy? What's going on, buddy? Some of the chicken eggs have a week and a half. I'll have to check my calendar. And some that I just put in yesterday. I just have too many waves of eggs to be waiting for full groups to finish up because when I have eggs that are not fertile, I remove them and just add new eggs in. It's a little tricky, I know. Check out the dollhouse gang. Already getting tucked in for the night. My goodness. I'm sorry to disturb you. There's one of the peahens up on the roof of the turtle enclosure. Here's this big guy. He's recovering. Poor dude in the bachelor's pad. Here are the mungs just chilling out, getting ready to lay an egg apparently. Handsome rooster Willow and his hen Laura. Here are the girls, they are getting big. Rihanna with the black stripe and Ariana, the little red girl. Aren't they so cute? I cannot believe how big they are getting. This is my favorite part of office work. My little assistant sitting here helping me. Ah, oh, trusty assistants. We are having a bit of a conflict here. You can see this gal on top of the coop is trying to get in because this is where she likes to lay her eggs, that white, white chicken. And the red chicken has just discovered she's locked in this coop because she's been sitting on eggs for the last few days. And I wanted her to be able to brood undisturbed my eco tip today is if you need a tool that is not something that needs to be used on a daily basis, consider doing some kind of a share purchase with someone in your neighborhood or a group of people in your neighborhood. Say a lawnmower, for example. Pitch in with two or three of your neighbors, five of your neighbors. Everybody put in a percentage of the item and then you guys share it. So that's an interesting concept that people are doing in some cities. And a simpler version would be just to borrow and share. Oh, hello. <laughs> well, thank you, Rukia. 
I'm drying clothes inside because oh the wind here has been crazy um, just to share things with your neighbors and I know people are doing this professionally uh, with their cars now and their apps you can do that with obviously it's gonna want to be with people that are responsible enough that they're gonna care for your items or you're gonna care for theirs and definitely use the golden rule if you're borrowing something you want to return it either in as good a shape as it was or better for example clean the lawnmower put extra gas in it be considerate but that was just an idea some people i think have forgotten about anton has been dying to eat one of these goose eggs so the first goose egg that we collected on his birthday on march 1st was given to him as a birthday present and now he can't decide what he wants to do with it an omelet a giant egg over easy who knows they are growing like weeds check out mr harry styles i personally okay here's dad here's dad strutting his stuff and here's harry and i think that he is actually getting nicer plumage i know they look crazy if you don't know this they are frizzle chickens if you know anything about the frizzle genes i would love to learn more from what i know they're a co-dominant gene however i am reading things online that are countering each other some sources say that it's a recessive gene some say it's co-dominant none of my hens that i started with appeared to be they were not visually frizzle however they may have had those recessive frizzle genes so i'm very curious to learn more about that here's kamina being nosy oh look at him we have a peacock courting one of the peahens and so she's probably upset because she thinks she can't come out and get food and water but 